Turning now to your community focus, we're talking about Rhode Island schools. Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green joins us regularly here on 12 News at 4. Today, she's joining us via Zoom. Thanks for being here, Commissioner. Thank you for having me. I, I want to start with something that our Target 12 colleagues have been reporting on extensively, the ILO Group. It's a brand new consulting firm. It was awarded a $5 million contract to help reopen the state's schools. And some people have called into question whether that $5 million was a sound investment. So can you point to one accomplishment that the state wouldn't have been able to do without ILO Group's help? Well, I think some clarification, I think it's up to $5 million. It's not really an actual $5 million investment. Um, the other piece is that it's not about what we would have done it without them. It's that we need added capacity. Everybody needs added capacity to be able to open schools safely, to make sure that we were ready for where we are right now. We didn't want to take, I don't think the state wanted to take any chances. So it's about opening schools. I want to talk about teacher shortages. This is a problem across the country, not just here in Rhode Island, but yesterday Providence announced some new incentives for new teachers and substitutes. Um, has there been any immediate response to that in the last 24 hours? Are you seeing people apply already? Well, we've seen we've seen interest. I think uh, you know there's a process in terms of applying, but we're really excited to be able to provide these incentives. Um, as we have done, this has always been a priority for us to have teachers in front of kids. Um, and you know, there's some hard to fill areas nationwide, not just in Rhode Island. Secondary school is always a challenge, especially in the science, math. If you're a teacher that works with differently able students, dual language, those are areas that are uh, more difficult to find teachers in so that we have incentivized that with additional money. I want to ask you quickly about the RICAS exams. Just yesterday, Massachusetts released the results of their MCAS exams. When can we expect to see the results of Rhode Island's standardized tests? I think at the end of October, we're cleaning up the data right now. Um, yeah, so at the end of October, we'll probably see, but we anticipate like every other state that we will see some sort of decline. Um, that's something that is to be expected. COVID has impacted everyone, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. So I think we, we, will, we will see that. But what's what we feel good about is that we're prepared. We put together a committee, um, the districts have been working. We'll use that data to really tailor what we do for the kids so that we can hone in on the needs of the kids. Just this week, Pfizer announced that its vaccine is effective in kids ages five to 11 in a slightly lower dose, and they plan to seek authorization soon from the federal government. So if kids as young as five could start getting vaccinated in the near term, what impact would that have on Rhode Island schools? Well, I think we're going to be working with RIDO to see how that, how it rolls out, what happens, and to measure. I mean, obviously, if our students can get vaccinated, there will be um, obviously different things that we're going to look at. Right now, we're not there yet. Um, there's going to have to be a process, and we have to lay that out. Um, as we have done with everything else, we will continue to keep everybody informed of what that rollout will look like. This Sunday in PCTA from 11 to three o'clock we're having a vaccination clinic and we are raffling off airpods other amazing prizes that i can't say yet because they're not 100 percent secured but i will tell you that kids will want them um it's it's going to be really amazing stay tuned for that and commissioner before i let you go if more children are eligible to get the vaccine could you foresee the mask mandate then being removed uh, you know, it's hard to say right now, but I think we have to reach a threshold. Um, we are, as a state, doing well because our kids have not been eligible for vaccination. You know, we have had to keep a lot of those mandates and precautions and mitigation in place. Um, but that will, you know, will change and we'll work with RIDO. Um, as soon as those vaccines become available for our students. And that's why we're encouraging everyone, get vaccinated, get your kids vaccinated. You know, I know that, you know, people have different ideas about it, but do your homework. Go out and go see, um, you know, the benefits, the pros and the cons. But right now, it is in all our best interest to get vaccinated. Rhode Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante-Green, thank you as always for your time today. 
Thank you, Kim.